<laughs> Rim Rims, it is that time of day again, 4 p.m. or your regional equivalent whereby this episode comes out. Well, for me, it's obviously not. That wouldn't make any sense. The people called me mad, Greg. They said, there's no way you can build a space station. They said it's impossible. This early on to build a space station is the dreams of a madman. So, we'll start simple. We'll start very straightforward and with something very, very low scope. We're going to drill to the center of the planet instead. And I guess I'll just have to accept that we are on the planet for the long term. You know, we're, we're going we're gonna to have to build up this base so it's an actual proper base. So we'll, we'll dedicate ourselves to all these bedrooms. What I want to do, and one thing I've just thrown down here is a tailor bench. I think it's time we get rid of all these tainted clothes because it really is just keeping everybody pissed all the time. Never know. Maybe during that time, Flux Marshall actually hit the eight crafting that we wanted to as well. Wow, this game's like really easy to play when you're not talking, eh? So I've sorted out their clothes. I've got rid of all the tainted apparel. I've also made sure that they've got not only meals, but we've actually got lavish meals now. So it's been a massive mood boost just for like a very tiny little change here. So I've, I've told them to recycle all of the tattered apparel this is just kind of crap that flux marshall is making to train up crafting but overall their mood should be a lot 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 better now between the lavish meals and the obviously the better apparel there yeah see they are much much better greedy for impressive bedroom i can't do anything about that yeah all the complaints are just kind of trait related stuff chemical starvation uh, uh, stuck indoors that type of crap. Nothing to worry about, basically. So we're going to get this dealt with soon. Obviously, we turned all the wood into chem fuel. So we'll wait for some, some trees to grow. Uh, I did research power recycling, like I said, which I've uh, thrown into the mod pack. I don't know why it wasn't in. I swear I keep adding it into mod packs and it just doesn't stick. So that's definitely in now. We've got another 11,828 research before planetary drilling is done. Dare I say it? Why don't I break the habit of a lifetime and actually put down some scanners? Because we really don't have much else to do. Alternatively, we've got a rocket to the moon. Um, wow, that's actually kind of tempting. Let's not get too distracted here. Okay, ground penetrating scanner then. Um, let's throw that down. Oh, is that... Oh, can it place it under a roof? I, I thought it was just indoors, the limitation, but there we go. I've not played this game before, sorry to reiterate. So, uh, just, just, just give me a minute. I'm going to put... Hmm, I was going to say put two, like, out here and then... You know what? Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll, we'll put two out here, and we'll turn this into kind of a courtyard area. Um, we'll, we'll keep this wall coming up and around, but we'll keep it all kind of contained. That way, when raiders turn up, they won't just immediately smash down our our uh, underground scanners. One thing I haven't mentioned, one thing I've actually only really just noticed, is that non-lethal snipes needs very, very, very little rest as kind of a as, as kind of a feature of their race. So I thought, why not just have them do the research because they can just sit there for. Well, forever, basically. You'll see when they go back to bed. I know it looks like the bar is dropping at a, uh, at a at a relatively normal speed, but when they sleep, the rest rate multiplier is massive compared to a regular person. Wow, that was <laughs> that was a bit rude. Oh my god, homeless run. <laughs> Pack of man hunting snow hair. Okay, okay, homeless is going to be down here for sure. There's nothing we can really do to uh to stop this from happening. Oh god, oh this is a horrible way to die. I wouldn't be so... I wouldn't be so confident. Holy crap. I mean, it's not going to kill them unless we are incredibly slow or they get, like, a really bad infection or something. Death in six hours. You'll be fine. Oh, Matt Turret's down. <laughs> There's something so majestic about hunting. Tiny little hairs with a giant explosive combat turret. That's so good. Oh, my God. Greg's getting overwhelmed. Holy crap. Are we going to survive? Oh, shit. There's still loads of them. Okay, let's start running and gunning then because we... Genuinely might get a little bit overwhelmed here. Uh, maybe kill the one right there. Greg can't run very fast on account of Greg not having a very good brain. Thank you for noticing. Greg is indeed a self-insert. There we go. Okay, okay. Uh, Greg, let's get you up to stabilizing homeless as soon as possible. I'm so sorry. You're fine. You're fine. You're okay. Four hours. Oh, shit. Greg, you're going to have to work bloody fast. Look, it's staying consistent. I suppose it was a lot of... It was a lot of damage. Yeah, who'd have, who'd have guessed? Who'd have guessed that a lot of filthy hairs nibbling at someone's feet might cause an infection? You're actually okay. I mean, to say that Greg tended that with no medicine, that's actually fine. Well, right, let's get them back. Oh, long last, we finally recruited this guy, Usorn, and he's immediately 
picked up an incendiary launcher. I hope he's not vengeful. Many of you might not know this, and I'll I'll forgive you for not knowing it. The name Usorn is actually Batarian for um the the more English sounding word combination of uh Wolfstar, actually. So uh, we're gonna rename you to that. He's good at shooting, melee, construction, all that kind of kind of manual labor side of things. Great memory, pyromaniac. Uh nope. You're alright. <laughs> To be honest, I'm actually going to let him keep it because it could be really, really handy against that big bunch of raiders. Tough, kind, psychopath. Wow, the perfect wolf star. A lot of power outages. Um, what exactly am I going to do about that then? We can build these prefab generators, but they run on uranium. And unfortunately, there's been no point in the game so far. We've actually had access to a boatload of uranium, unfortunately. Jokes aside. If you're curious, I did actually test uh, the uranium. We hit, we had 269 uranium. Uh, that would have equated to, brace yourself, I hope you're sitting down, 1,033 silver if I'd have sold it to them. Bear in mind, non-lethal snipes doesn't really need to sleep. And when they do sleep, it obviously takes 30 seconds for them to get back up. So hopefully with all their scanning that they're doing, we'll probably find enough uranium to, to run one of those prefab generators. Well, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even mined a single thing with the ground penetrating scanner. Well, that'll do it, I suppose. Thank you for that. What does it count as? Oh my god, they're expensive. Drills out resources from the inner planet. It's not create infestation. They're not affected by the mining skill of the operator. Oh, damn. So, uh, this drill is affected by colonist and robot skills. Wait. It's not affected by the mining skill of the colonist operating it. This drill is affected by the colonist skills. Hang on. I don't understand what you're telling me here. But regardless of what skills do and do not affect it, we can't build the bloody thing. And it's also, well, I mean, even if we could build the bloody thing, it's probably going to be so power hungry, we wouldn't be able to power it. Now, we have already scanned some steel underground. And that is right... Oh, well, when it decides it wants to be there, it is right here. So, you know, I haven't included a quarry mod or anything this time around. I remember Mass Effect had a lot of drilling, a lot of scanning for resources, that type of thing. So all I've done is included a mod that buffs up deep drilling and that's that's it basically non-lethal snipes has found a lump of buried uranium using the ground penetrating scanner there it is <laughs> thank you for that uh okay yeah that's actually that's actually shit loads uh to be honest to make that work we're probably gonna need to get solar panels researched don't we um let's drop the first one i guess we'll pop it there some drones you know what Actually, not a bad idea. Well, firstly, let's get uh, let's get some solar panels so that we can actually run the. We can run that. Then that will give us the uranium. That we can run the prefab generators. And then I want I do, I do want the drones. I think that could be a great idea for our little ship. That was <laughs> that was a bit fast. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and throw one of those down. Then there you go. And then you know what? I'm even going to give them a chair. I'm Commander Greg, and this is my favorite chair in RimWorld. Now let's not forget here, we are still playing on Savage. We're not, we're not quite playing on Merciless, but we are playing on Savage, at least until I understand the mechanics associated with some of the, uh, especially the, the, the Rim Effect combat with the biotics and whatnot. Maybe we should start working on some defenses, otherwise that's really going to bite me in the ass. Ah. Uh, what about some, what about just like a big old layer of sandbags around the edge of the base? Something to fall back on. What happened to Greg? Why is Greg downed? Why is his rifle on the floor? Greg? Food poisoning. <laughs> Multi-tool arm, Omni-tool level one, silent level three, the mighty N7 warrior that is Commander Greg, desensitized, iron world, tough, had a bad meal and now he's out for the count, for God's sake, well at least he's got plenty of medics nearby. <laughs> Factory basics, thank you, what, oh, that's why research is going so fast. We've got Muskratful working on the space attack bench with the Alliance terminal, and we've got non-lethal snipes down here working on this fucking nuts thing right that explains why the solar panels took two seconds ah defoliator ship finally somebody capable of challenging me for my title of needlessly destroying resources i think we'll just wait that out until greg recovers from his food poisoning so that he can lead the battle well i mean <laughs> part of the battle he's very slow please give him please give him space me Maybe we should go for, like, brain surgery, in hindsight, given that our main character, the star of the show, the biotics, combat expert with three psi levels is, you know, spending most of his time here dribbling and shitting all over himself. <laughs> here we go. Eight versus four. Wait, that's it? I don't know why I sent him Wolfstar, I'll be honest. <laughs> I really shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, no. 
I mean, the Scythers really just won't be an issue to deal with. Poor Wolfstar, though. Really did throw him right into the meat grinder. No pun intended. Meat has been well and truly ground. Oh, not Blue State Boris as well. Why are these Scythers going straight for the dick? Get away from him. No. <laughs> what is wrong with you, you weird Scythers? I guess now we know what they call him Blue Steak. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the Scyther did what to Blue Stakes Boris's reproductive organs? There we go. That'll do it. And before anybody complains, okay? Before anybody complains that that wasn't the most optimal combat possible, everybody is fine. There's no permanent damage except for Blue Stake Boris. And as it said, the, the, the Scyther cuts it in half, so he can still definitely budge a few inches. I genuinely think this would be very good with Igor Invader, especially all of the new powers that you've got access to as well. They're, like these, these combat abilities, like for example, Combat Drone and Carnage, they're both so good. Especially when you compare it to the base game Rimworld uh, royalty powers. They're like really good and actually I want to use them rather than just get it because they're kind of cool to have, which is about as far as the royalty powers go in my opinion. Oh, you shits. Pirate with a weather controller. Another caravan time then. To be fair, that's quite close. Ooh, eight enemies though. Greg, we need to we need to sort your brain out. Okay, uh, forget about the robots for the time being. Let's go for like some sort of brain surgery. Yep. <laughs> Is there any sort of brain brain wiring? Is that what I'm after? Uh, no, it's really not. Shit, do we not have any sort of uh, any sort of bionics mod? Yeah, this this would be it. What what are we lacking for that? Uh. Missing. Missing what? Yeah, like missing what though? I that uh, So it normally says that when you've got like a, a multi-analyzer built, but it's offline. What that probably would imply to me is that we've, we've, we've got the multi-analyzer just not connected up to this one. Um, so I imagine if we build a multi-analyzer in here, that would unlock that research as, as something that's viable. What? <laughs> uh, White Gobimare, chief of the Red Creek people is looking for a Selma to take care of her pet, Isaac Joris Lancelot, for 22 days. Lancelot is sick with blood rot and will require daily treatment. Ah, uh, 22 days to look after a Joris. If you accept Lancelot, there'll be a rate of strength two times and roughly this size. Oh, wow. Um, they will give us a fucking another Persona call, though. How can I not? Lancelot. Lancelot is a little Isaac Joris. Hey, hello. And uh, a carer for the Isaac Joris. Oh, God, you really are hideous. <laughs> Isaac Joris will attack enemies with his tears if he is properly trained. Ah, oh, Joris and his mother lived alone on a small house on a hill. Joris kept to himself. Oh, that's nice. I like that. And is he sufficiently trained? I believe they are by... Yeah, right. So they've got maximum... Uh, Maximum tameness there. Let's see if we can try to piss attack. You can, you can try and help us out a little bit. And let's also put down a sleeping spot somewhere convenient. Um, let's throw it there. And then I'm also probably going to limit his area. Oh, I suppose area one we're not doing anything with, right? Oh, no. That's about right. Um, let's put his kind of area where he's allowed to stay just, just here. And honestly, thank God I started building some sort of defense then, eh? Okay. So turrets, maybe. Let's start working on that next. Uh, yeah, maybe we just go straight for like, oh, fucking hell. Um, I was going to say maybe we go s straight for slug turrets because, of course, they're very, very good on an area with a large, with a, with a large uh, line of sight. And that's exactly what we've got going for us right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're curious, that's exactly what we needed there to unlock all this stuff. We just needed that multi-analyzer. So if you ever see that, they're, they're just missing with no prerequisites. That's what is caused by that. I mean, um... Uh, who do? I don't know anything about Rimwald. Shit. Let it slip. Gunsmithing is done. That's a good start. Where was that steel? Because honestly, at this point, we could probably do with it. Uh, there's Derek Lodge. No, no, we don't, I'm not interested in you right now, Derek Lodge. Uh, we've already mined all that steel. Oh, like, we've still got a lot of components we could potentially grab here from the, uh, from the natural landscape, but that's it. So thank God we actually did a little bit of deep drilling in hindsight. Uh, let's throw that down. Oh, fucking hell, that's miles away. Well, okay, sure. For the time being, let's cancel the drill. We're expecting a pretty massive raid to turn up. 
And I think to start off with, at least... Okay, let's, let's get down this prefab generator. We don't have plastic. Of course we don't. Um, is there any plastic still kicking around anywhere that we can grab? Now, steel and components, we've got an abundance right now. To be fair, we've also got chem fuel, so we could throw down a few flame turrets as well. Let's put down just a bunch of these military turrets to start off with. They don't need power, and the resources we've got that these actually require, we've got an abundance. So we'll just go ahead and throw a few of those down like that. I guess we should start also maybe barricading a kind of semicircle around here. And then we'll do another one around here. You know, ideally, we could just build a wall across there and forget about it. That works a lot better. Because then we really just don't have to worry about defending this side. They could mine through, sure. But obviously, they'll take the path, to, uh, the path of least resistance. That's why kill boxes obviously work in Rimod. So let's do that first. Um, we could always fill the inside of the base with turrets or something like that to really distract them if we want to. Oh, is this them? The landed Dark Star Pirates. Uh, Fallen Star Tribals. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Five humans? Seven humans. Oh, well, that's not bad at all. I genuinely thought for a second that it was another random raid that turned up, but no, it is the landed Dark Star Pirates here to try and get Isaac Joris. Uh, do we finish off the power cables for the turrets? N no. No, we didn't. I can probably handle it. Hang on, hang on. Let's send... Uh, Look, let's send, like, these guys over to here. And I'll find them some cover properly in a second. Wolf start. can we get you, like, a, like a proper gun? LMG, that'll do it. That's the best we've got, unfortunately. We quite literally have nothing else right now. No, I don't want to call... No, I don't want to call anyone. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to take these guys and send them in this direction. To be honest, I think these guys can more than handle that. You know what? I'll send five. I'll send five. Five that way, four this way. Oh! <laughs> Chunks of spacecraft, too. Thank you for that. I'm going to give the guy that's, uh, that's joined us here a better gun. Because I, well, I appreciate his, I appreciate his effort. I, I appreciate the spirit. But um, a longbow probably isn't going to cut it here. Oh, they're waiting for a while before they attack. We won't be able to get the drop on them here. Okay. Okay. Skagnetti. <laughs> Look at this weird setup. This is the, uh, the, 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 what do they call the Fallen Stars mod. That has these kind of weird hybrid raiders. So they, they are tribal. But they've got, like, obviously they've got the regular tribal weaponry there, but with, like, the occasional gun link thrown in for good measure. I mean, if we can kill these guys, we can send these ones back to go and back up the other guys. Greg, 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 Greg. Come on. Come on, move forward, move forward. They're beginning their assault. These guys are coming in as well? Yes, thought so. Okay, okay, here we go. No cover. Obviously not. I mean, all the trees are... Trees are gone. Let's do one of those, and let's try and bait them a little bit closer. Ideally, I want to I keep within kind of running distance... So that we can come and reinforce this if it starts going wrong. But we might be okay. Let's bring you here then. Can we move muskrat down? Oh, no, unfortunately not. Let's do that. Let's do that. They should they should be alright like that. Well, this side is an absolute massacre by the looks of it. Great start. I mean, if you guys could actually hit anything. It's all down to Greg again. Unbelievable. Yep, this is uh this is going pretty well, I think. Oh! They're gone, they're gone, they're gone, they're gone, they're gone, they're gone. It's over, it's over. Go home. Skagnetti! Is actually okay. Nine animals, nine cooking. Um, let's just get you captured, I suppose. Oh, I took apart the, I did take apart the prisoner bed so that we get some steel back so that we can actually build defenses because I thought that was gonna, gonna potentially be quite tough. Turns out, it's really not. Okay, this is a prison now. Kim's down and they've got a gun link. Do you think we'll be able to grab that quickly? Hang on. Um, Blue State Boris, you're pretty fast. Especially now that you shed a lot of extra weight there. Never do firefighting. Of course, I send the one bloody person over who can't do firefighting. Okay, if we just do that, though, we can still drag them out of the fire without them to worry about it. There you go. Uh, Kim, are you any good? No, not really. No. No, no. Give me your clothes. 15 days of volcanic winter. We get two advanced components, 26 goodwill with the sovereignty of the sun, which is currently uh, minus 100, by the way. I'll be honest, I don't think I can be bothered with that. 15 days. And that would probably kill our winter crop, wouldn't it? You know? I think I'm alright. Right now, we've got another 13 days of Isaac Jarrus. And honestly, that's our highest priority. Not gonna fail you, Isaac. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hang on, that's our faction! Yeah, maybe it will. Maybe it will anger him. I'd probably be pissed off too if our commander, who is also our chief medical officer, started stapling a wooden penis onto a polar bear. <laughs> to be honest, 
without a colonist capable of crafting components, there's nothing to do. There's genuinely nothing to do. We can't make more deep drills to give people a deep drilling job because, well, we haven't got any bloody components for it. We can't build the rest of these walls with prefabrication components because those require 10 crafting skill each to make. Suppose I could send a few of them caravanning off to go and see what we can find. Oh, look, why don't we hunt whatever's on the map? A four-legged unijarus. Tame. Tame him. This is a Jarus of my own design. Look. It's especially rare and its horn can be extremely valuable. I guess we'll just have everybody hunting then. Uh, Derek Lodge, die. And then the people not hunting, I'm gonna send out as a as a caravan to just see if we can buy some components from somewhere. Let's go uh, package some until we got 20 of the things. That'll probably do it. We'll, we'll have to send out uh, at least probably three people just to ensure that we can... Keep the caravan going and actually carry back whatever it is we we do buy. You know what? Let's go, let's go 30 meals. Oh my god, he's done it already. That was like instantaneous. Non-lethal snipes approached the four-legged Jarus while whispering to herself about the relationship between dead ones and cryo sleep. That's it. That's it. Jarus is very existential like that. Another Jarus. Sober Jarus. 10% chance again. We can do it. We can do it. We've got a new quest. And how could I not take this? Lynn. Prime Counselor of East Alda is making a request. She wants to send us a mech cluster consisting of a Geth Hunter, two Geth Troopers, a Lancer, a Scyther, and some other crap in exchange for an infinite chem reactor. Now, this will basically sit in our stockpile right up till we launch the ship, and I bet it could single-handedly, by the time we actually get up to that stage of the game, fuel our spaceship by itself. I mean, that is going to be incredible for us. And that's all we had to fight for it. I mean, that's just incredible. How do we want to go about waking them up? Could we just shell them? We do have some... I, I, I think we've got some more shells left anyway. Let's go Let's go take a peek. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Set false target. Boom. Do it, Greg. Do it, Greg. He's missing half a brain, but I'm sure... Nice. How's that looking? That will probably do it. Hey, look at that. They've got plastic. We've got a trade caravan here. A combat supplier. How much do we need again? Oh, hold, hold, hold. We might just be able to get enough to throw this thing together. 85 plus, dude. We've already got 51, so we need we need barely any. Go, go, go. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Right. Give me give me, give me, me 35 plus, still. I will sell you package survival meals. We can always make more of those. I'll sell a couple of advanced components. Man, they've got some really nice stuff here, though. Targeting six? Holy crap. Increases fire rate significantly. Wow. Uh, What does that do? I mean, I know what it does. I've just read it, but you know, I wanted, I wanted statistics, smart ass. Spacer battle rifle. Oh man, all this stuff is so good. Battle uniforms rather than just, you know, dusters. Sod it. Let's tell what we've got right now. Let's get, uh, let's get Flux Marshal. You can build that for me. It's all well and good building all these turrets, but we're like actually genuinely really struggling for power still. So, oh shit. Someone's losing a wardrobe. Uh, give me that. Give me that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, wait, they're deconstructing to what you... Oh, they give back the... Oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We got another bulk goods trader too. Shit, we might be able to sell some crap out of the stockpile then. Wait, was it not two? There's, there's two right there. Someone already reserved it. Hey, you leave that alone. There we go. Now, what sort of power output are we looking on this thing? 3,000 watts. Holy crap, that'll do it. We've baited out a single scyther. That's not really... That's not really what I'm after. Blue state, blue state Boris. You know what? Let's just bring everybody down. Let's bring everybody down. Come on, get down here. Help out Greg. Greg, just be, just be careful. Just be careful. We know what these scythers are here for. Well, that worked fine. That worked fine. Problem is, I think these things are the thing that we've really got to watch out for. And I can't exactly bait those over. Unless we craft. No, we can't craft. We haven't got a crafter. I was going to say, we could craft more shells and try and bring them over that way. Let's just approach from, like, over here. See, that's what I was trying to avoid, having another one built. But that's okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You'll be fine, Greg. I have faith in you. I have faith in what's left of you, Greg. Okay, okay. Throw that down there. Let's see if that will at least bring them over a little bit closer. Let's try and get behind a bit more a bit more cover in this direction then. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Ready? Geth Trooper, die. Did that help? No. <laughs> no, it did not. Oh, shit. They've got a lot of firepower. Should have already predicted that, shouldn't I? They are not after the turret at all. I thought it would at least provide a bit of a distraction so that Greg could get some... Get some shots in. We've taken out one of them. And Greg's not taking any. Oh, we've taken out two of them. 
And Greg's not taking any permanent damage. That one's also on fire. Okay, didn't know they could do that. I, I only threw that down so they would attack that rather than Greg. Obviously, that didn't really work. You guys might as well just fuck off, to be honest. Greg could probably probably just deal with this by himself. Come on, Greg. Come on. One left. One left. You can do it. Right in the finger. I didn't even know they had fingers. He's, he's done it. He's done it. What a guy. Uh, can we hit that from there? We absolutely can. Better mind, the second we shoot this, this also Inferno turret is going to wake up, but... Do I have that much faith in Greg? Do you think he could take that out as well? Come on, one more shot, one more shot, one more shot. Come on. Oh, come on, Greg. Oh, hang on, maybe we'll just try this one. Hit it with that. Nice! That's exactly what I wanted. Get out of there. Will that be enough? What a guy. What a play. And there we go. Greg single-handedly just earned us an infinite chem reactor. We're going to put that right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Are we, are we not butchering anymore? No, we, we've given up on that. Oh, Greg, what happened? He just fell over. He's fine. He's not bleeding out or anything. I thought he'd been food poisoned again. <laughs> but it occurred to me, before we head out and go and start trading with other colonies with the caravan to see what they've got, why don't we see if we can get a crafter with the Rimdeed recruitment website? <laughs> I, I have no idea what I'm looking at. I don't know how this works. So hire now. Go to the service packages page. We can contact customer support. Uh, oh, it's a muffalo. Hello. Uh, how can we help you? Send a written complaint. Well, that's a cow, so obviously can't. Okay, I'll send a... Thank you. We will look into it. Good. Okay. Uh, investigation pending. A excellent. Uh, let's try their... Let's go for their free trial then. One application on us. You receive your you receive an applicant within one to three working days. Okay. Uh do I know this is not like LinkedIn. Can I not Oh. Wood Woodlog package, one applicant is uh one thousand two hundred and fifty. Silver package, two to five applicants. Ah, there you go. And we, we pick what employee we want to take. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Um can we we can trade in employees? Oh, this seems it seems like slavery to me. <laughs> We're not going to sell Commander Greg. How much have we got? We've got $500 to play around with. The cheapest recruit they've got is 1000 so that's not going to happen. But we could potentially uh, we could potentially get some stuff from this. Okay. Well, let's see who applies to work for us with the free trial. And then, you know, we'll go, we'll go from there. Oh, shit, Raiders. We had a caravan of Asari turn up. I do want to trade with you, but you'll have to wait... Uh, we've got one group there, two groups there, and three groups there for a total of 16 raiders. Okay, uh, shit, I mean, we probably don't even have to worry about that side, because if the trade cavern and the turrets will deal with them. Let's squad up, kill these guys first, and then move to deal with these ones. Like I said before, the storyteller isn't, you know, it's not super, super difficult. It's just very consistent. You know, it's constantly throwing something at us here. Oh, God, this is going to be a massacre. Oh, I'm so sorry. Crocodile with his bow. Well, I mean, if anybody could fucking hit them, it would be a goddamn massacre. Get closer. God, these people suck. <laughs> We've ended up with, like, the worst shooters ever. So, that, like I said, the way I've got it set up is that the badges, every level of badge is four shooting levels, right? So, this badge is between four and eight. Uh, this badge is between eight and 12, and this badge is above that. So, we'll start 13 shooting. Um, honestly, like, the majority of our people are pretty... Shit shots. Kill them all. Kill them all. They do, they do have cover. Look, they've got bows and arrows. I'm not really too bothered. What an awful thing to say, Zabri. All this firepower and we can't hit a goddamn thing. <laughs> oh, except for something that we don't want to hit, apparently. Just, just keep plowing forward, honestly. Just keep going. Maybe some better weapons. Maybe we can afford it, some better weapons. Yeah, you better turn around. Well, what about these guys? I assume they're done with then. Uh, oh no. No, they got savaged by a cougar. I assume the cougar was caught in the crossfire between the trade caravan and the raiders, but no, no. They're just getting killed by, by nature. Don't smash that up. I don't have enough jobs for everybody to do anyway. Please don't. Don't touch my things. Knock them down. Be good at crafting. They actually are. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't, don't, uh, uh punch. Punch, but don't shoot. Punch, but, no! Stop. Fucking firing. Get out of here. Set them on search and destroy. They're just, they're just too eager. They're just too eager. Right, go home. Go home. Go home. Homeless. 
I can see you right there aiming your gun. Stop that. They're insatiable. It's psychopathic. Knock him. Knock him. Send him. Get him. I'm going to adorn my bedroom with your intestines. No, you're not. They're going to be a fucking crafter, Zabri. Please. I, I hate you both. I hate you both. There we go. Sell all the leather. Buy components. And preferably plasteel. What do you mean you haven't got any plasteel? I could buy a darts board. You know what? I'll take a darts board. Fine, we'll buy regular steel. We'll buy regular steel. They still owe us money after that as well, so that's fine. Oh, rim deed applicants. I don't know if we've really got enough silver to make this work, but we're going to take a quick look, see what we've got. Uh, how do I... How do I see that? What do I do? I do go to the... Ah, here we go. Oh, shit, that's cool. Um, I am very passionate with intellectual and crafting. Well, we did need a crafting, but he's only got seven skill, but to be fair... We're training up what? Uh, like, like Flux Marsh, who's still only got seven skill, but no passion. So, how do I recruit you then? Uh, okay, job applications. Ah, oh, accept, there it is. Hello, I'm qualified in basic soldering, drama, and cooking. And I got them from 36 seconds ago, sorry. <laughs> I enjoy spending time with bears. Say no more. That was our free trial. There we go. So, we, what do we like, get this guy? Your new hire will arrive in one to three working days. I enjoy working with bears. You are going to fucking love this place. Oh, no. Zabri tried to flirt with Chal Ch 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 Chadiles by talking about her own charm. But she's temporary. Oh, no. What a sad story. But you know what isn't a sad story? The fact that we've just scanned Element Zero Underground, whatever the hell that is. That's like the, uh, that's like the Mass Effect... A hyper element, right? For lack of a better word. I don't entirely know what it is, to be honest, but I remember kind of something vague about it. Uh, give me, give me one. Oh, God, there's barely anything. 300 elements zero underground here. I would like that, please. He called the horn bear Zorro. The fucking guy, when he gets here, is going to be, he's going to be losing his mind when he realizes that there's bears everywhere. And they've got silly names. These are just, these are just raccoons. Don't worry about it. It's a bunch of raccoons. You know how it is. Now <laughs> here in the colonies. Fending off packs of very hungry raccoons all the time. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> this is why I really, really regret not building those flame turrets, because that would that would have been incredible. The raccoon just had his jaw shot off and it's still charging us down. What the hell? Well, that was a fun afternoon. There it is. At long last, we can get this friggin' stinky bear out of my base. Just carrying a polar bear to a shuttle. You know how it is. Goodbye. Zora's come to see his friend go. Goodbye, Lancelot. What about you? You're not leaving? Boom. There we go. And that is another Persona core. One a day, please. I'll take that. Oh, look, there it is. Element Zero. Colloquially known as Ezo. This is that not like a, that's a Greek uh, spirit, isn't it? This material is the backbone of much advanced technology. By running a current through it, it's able to raise a lower mass within an effective field. The civilizations of the galaxy call this phenomenon Mass Effect. Roll credits. Thank you all for watching today's episode of RimWorld. This is where I peel back the curtain and reveal that this episode has taken me um, genuinely nine hours to record because over the course of that nine hours, OBS kept stopping and starting recording midway through for seemingly no reason. I don't know if it's a problem with my hard drive, um, but it would, just, it would just pause the recording. So... Bit of a pain in the ass. I apologize if this episode is, is kind of a bit all over the place as a result of that. Um, but there's not really anything I could have done about it. Oh, and halfway through, I stopped to go and watch Dan on Discord wash his dog. Um, which is obviously way more important than RimWorld. You guys can go fuck yourselves. You know who can't, though? That's a, Well, unless they want to. That's the patrons. They've got that privilege. They're allowed to do that. A big thank you goes out to today's insane top tier level patrons, including Dietz. Thistle wins Q, but I'm homeless. Galupo Fruit Hag, Total Postal, Viazine, Passy 965, Nick Danger 013, Isolated Rogue, Scary Scurvy, Alex Joseph Stalin, The Cum Stallion, Evan Crocker, Cicere, Nanon 10, Encra Slave, Coolio McCool Cool, Sabat, and Smack You for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon. Big thank you to you guys for making this channel and this episode possible in the first place. A thank you as well to Avolka, Nox Immortalis, Kipos, KG Evans, Krobe, James, Cold as Flame, Sheng Damast, GV, Deuterian, Therabies, Mad Bowler Hat, Grey, Bo 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 Bo. Thank you for that. <laughs>